Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Music Marketing TV. I'm Dan D, and thanks for tuning in to a basic walkthrough with Image Lines Harmer. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you guys how to use Harmer. Um, I have three b basic steps here that uh, I want to show you, and I'm going to break it down into three part videos so we don't get too confused and uh, you know overwhelmed. So let's start off by bringing up Harmer. Open up channels, right? Go to add one and find Harmer. And here it is. This may look intimidating at first, but uh, I'm going to walk you through it. Now, a lot of us have been wondering, you know, how do we get the right sound? That is how we always start off when we bring up a synthesizer. What is the right sound for my song? And usually with, you know, other synthesizers, it's really easy. You pick, you know, they have a whole, um, you know, section where you can choose your waveform that you want. For instance, you can go here and get a sawtooth waveform, square waveform, sine waveform, etc, etc. And um, with Harmer, you actually gotta make your waveform, which is pretty cool. Alright, so we're gonna start off with uh, the three kind of fundamentals that I use. Finding your sound. The second is icing your sound. And the third one is applying your sound. So again, we're gonna start off with the first one and finding your sound. So let's get started. We have a default saw waveform, right? And our second waveform is defaulted to a square waveform. So, right? Now, you're probably wondering, how do we change it? Let's go here. No, that's not what we do it. You basically want to go into the drop down menu, and then you want to go into the timbre one harmonic level. Now you can go there by doing, you know, the drop down menu way that I just showed, or you can just click here, bang. Now, we want to get the fundamental sound, uh, and by doing that, I'm going to just unzoom everything here so we can see what I'm doing. And you can see everything is just flat, leveled, and lined out. If I move this, we're going to see that my waveform changes. Okay, pay close attention. I'm going to drag down, or maybe even create a new point and see how everything starts to change right so we're gonna basically bring everything down and you wanna look at this window here as an EQ starting from 0 or 20 right because we can only hear 20 and then all the way down to 20,000 Hertz okay so 20 Hertz to 20,000 Hertz all the way to the end right so a sine wave let's think about this right a sine wave is a fundamental sound fundamental frequency right so let's just bring up a point. I'm going to keep this down and bring this one all the way up, the first one. And if I put this all the way to the left, we notice that my sign or my waveform is changing to a sign. So now listen to the sound. And now we can have some cool bass lines and whatever. So you want to use this. Um, window here in a way where you want to bring out certain frequencies right so I can bring up something like this and bring it down and remember the hint bar tells you where you're at okay but now we have something something weird right something cool but I'm gonna show you one little trick before we go on to the next video alright so I'm gonna delete all these points here and we have a slant happening from 20 Hertz all the way down to 20,000 Hertz and what we could do to figure out a cool sound we can basically right click this last point and then we can choose a type of curve and I'm gonna choose stairs and now watch my little uh, waveform mutate which is pretty cool and you get some really cool sounds right so I'm just gonna use the three stair step smooth saw waveform which is awesome for bass so we're gonna use this as our fundamental sound see it sounds good when you're plucking it and when you have to sustain right so we're gonna use this alright guys in the next video I'm gonna show you guys how to touch this up and make it sound beautiful I'm Dandy from Music Marketing TV, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace!